Hey, it's Jacob here. In this video, you will learn how to use the last row and the if statements to make your VBA code more dynamic. Let's get started. All right, this is the data set we have here that shows countries and BNP in billion US dollars and population, area. And then we're gonna use a if statement to run through all these data and show which countries have a BNP lower than 300. This is just an example, and this is all fake data. It's not real data. So BNP and population is not real. It's just examples. And the same with the happiness index and so on. And it goes all the way down to row 101. So 100 different values. And we're gonna define it with a last row. So this code can be used no matter how many rows there are. Make sure to follow my Instagram VBA workflow automation and learn from my nine years experience with VBA coding. Let's get right into it. Alt F11. Then we're gonna go to insert module. And we're just gonna write sub example. Then we're gonna dim last row as long. Then we're gonna write last row equals worksheets data dot cells rows dot count and we're gonna look for the last row in column one dot end x l up dot row. That's how you're gonna find the last row in any data set and make this code dynamic so it always works no matter how many rows there are. Then we're gonna write for i equals and it should look from row two here until the last row that we just defined. Two to last row we just defined. Then we're gonna make an if statement here that checks the data set from column two, if the BNP is smaller, lower than 300, 300 or lower. So we're gonna write it from the second column. If worksheets data cells I from column two, if that value are smaller, or equal to 500, then it should write here in column F, which is the sixth column, you should write in worksheets data cells I in column six, the value equal BNP 500 or lower. And then we're gonna end the if statement and write next I. And we can just set it up a little bit more professional so it's easier to read. And then we're gonna check if it works. So we go to insert, just an insert a bottom here. Just write start. And then we're gonna right click on it and attach macro. And then we're gonna test if it works. It seems to be working perfectly. And here you have it. All these are with BNP with 500 or lower. You can just check here. All these are with 500 or less. So this is how you can 
make an if statement that runs from row 2 to last row that we defined. So I discovered that we have the headline here that says BNP lower than 300 billion and it says BNP 500 or lower. So it doesn't match. But that's perfect because then we can just correct the code and make it even more dynamic. Let's do that. Let's press all F11 here and go to Visual Basic. So let's say we want to make it more dynamic where it update the header here, but also not always 500. We can change this to make it even more dynamic. I'm going to show you how. So let's say instead of 500, it should instead use the cell K1 to make it more dynamic. So for example, instead of 500, we change it to 300 or 200. And then it updates the header here and also look for the right values. Let me show you that. How we're going to change that is first, instead of writing 500 here, we need to change that and write small and equal to the worksheet worksheet's data range. And then we're going to use a range instead of cells. K1. So if the value in I column 2 is smaller or equal to the value of K1 here, then it executes the code. But then it should not write BNP 500 or lower. It should write BNP And then we're going to do and, and we're just going to copy that because it needs this value. And then we're going to do an and here as well. And then we're going to do it here. So it used the same value here in the text in column six where it insets the code. So here when we run this code, it will change it to BNP 200 or lower. If we change this to 500 again, then it will write BNP 500 or lower and so on. And then we're gonna create an extra line here where we write worksheets data And we're going to do a range again. And then we're going to write F, F1, where it, the header, the title of the column is, dot value. And we're going to change the header to BNP lower than space. I'm going to make an end here and use the same cell reference, the K one here and then we're going to do an and here what did you say bnp lower than 300 billion us dollars so we're going to do an and here space billion us dollars and then we're going to close it here one more thing we need before we run this code is clear the data set. And we're going to do that with this worksheets data dot range. Then we're going to do F2 to F and last row dot value equals blank. Now I want when we click this button that the code changed this to BNP lower than 200 billion US dollars in the header here and find all the values that is 200 or lower here and write BNP 200 or lower. Let's check that. You see it changed here. So now it's dynamic. You see all these values is less than 200 or equals to 200. 
and we can play around with it and test it. Let's say 50. So you see, it works. And now you created a if statement that is dynamic. And that finds the values here. Write the right title here and look for this right value in the data set and write the correct text here. And this will work with a data set with 100 rows, 500,000 rows or 10 rows because we defined the last row. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit that like button because there will be more videos on this channel and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.